Hi there, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Amongst the 14 new Excel functions that were announced by Microsoft this week are three that will help you to easily manipulate text. Stay tuned and I'll give you a quick demo. The first function I want to show you is text split. In my training courses, whenever I cover combining text together with the text join function or the concatenate function, I often get asked if there's a function to break a text string apart. I usually reply by showing text to columns or power query or a mega formula made up of a combination of find and left and right and mid and so on. But now with text split, it's much simpler. I want to break apart the names in column B and put them into columns F and G. So I click on F3 and type equals text split. The first parameter is the text that I want to split, which in this case is B3. And the second parameter is the delimiter that I want to use as a separator, which in this case is a space. And that has to go in double quotes. And that's it. Press enter. It splits the contents of B3, automatically spilling into as many cells as it needs. And then I will copy that formula down. Next, I want to split the phone number into three columns using the hyphen as the separator or delimiter. And I want to put that into I, J and K. So I'll click on to I3 equals text split. The text is C3 and the delimiter is a hyphen. And then copy the formula down. I'm only needing to copy the formula that's in column I because it's automatically spilled over into J and K. You'll notice it's actually like a dynamic array function in that the uh, formulas in columns J and K appear to be greyed out and you can only edit the formulas in column I. You can also split across rows, although the use case for that is not as great as for splitting across columns, but I'll show you anyway. I want to split my name that's in B2 into two rows, into B4 and B5. So I'll click on B4 and put equals text split. The text is B2. Now I don't want a column delimiter, but I do want a row delimiter. So I leave the column delimiter blank and the row delimiter will be a space. In addition to text split, there's also text before and text after. Let's look at text after first. Here I want to extract the numeric part of the employee ID. So in F3, I'll put equals text after. The text is A3 and the delimiter is the hyphen. I'll copy that formula down. And if I add another employee ID, it automatically copies that formula down. And finally, let's have a look at text before. Here, I want to extract the country code, which is the first part of the phone number the bit before the first hyphen. So I'll put equals text before, select the cell with the text in it and specify the parameter. And copy that down. And what that's done is extracted the text before the first hyphen. Now, what if I wanted to extract all the text to the left of or before the second hyphen? So I'll go and edit the formula and add in a third parameter, which is the instance number. So if I specify that as two, that will tell it to extract everything before the second hyphen. And then copy that down. So that's a quick look at the new text functions. If you found this video useful, please give it a like, share it with your colleagues and friends. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. But until the next time, have an excellent day.